It's time for another pop day with Mumbles and Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. Today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, we're talking about a very serious condition. Today, we are talking about dog dehydration and heat stroke. This is something that Dancer has firsthand experience with, and I wanted to make a video on it so that everyone knows what to do in a situation where, you know, there's a lot of hot weather and maybe your dog's not used to it. So today we're going to cover those topics. I'm going to go put this little guy down and we're going to jump straight into the video. So guys, on today's episode of Mumbles on Dancer Pup Dates, we are talking about dog dehydration and dog overheating and heat stroke. Guys, this is something that Dancer has battled with. We've had a lot of hot weather here lately. Even though it's the end of summer, the heat has not stopped. It's even gotten worse here. So we've had to really monitor Dancer because he gets overheated very quickly. He's got a very thick coat and it can be very, very hot. And if you're not paying attention, it can be a very deadly condition for your dog to deal with. So on today's episode of Mumbles, I've compiled some tips to help you get through the heat with your dog. So guys, as a general rule, your dog needs one ounce of water per pound that they weigh. Now this can be more or less depending on the weather. Obviously, if it's really hot weather, your dog may need more water, but as a general rule of thumb, it is one ounce of water per pound that they weigh. So guys, now that you know, have that knowledge, the first thing that you need to know when dealing with the heat and dog dehydration and overheating and heat stroke is no matter how long you plan on being outside with your dog, always make sure that they have access to water. Now, some dogs don't like to drink water, even in the heat, they just, you know, you give them a bowl of water and like, what do you want me to do with that? So you may have to combat that. Some dogs are big fan of ice chips. You can give them ice chips so that they can get their water in that way. You may have to actually put some fruit or some flavor into the water to get them to drink the amount of water that they need. Uh, fruit pieces such as strawberry and apples can help with that. Or you may need to actually go to extremes and get a dog fountain. Some dogs, for some reason, do not recognize or do not like standing water, water that just sits in their bowl. They actually prefer when it is running out of a device. So whether it be a hose or whatever, and it's running kind of like a waterfall, that's what they prefer. They will drink more water if their water is done that way. So again, just to reiterate, make sure your dog has water and that they can drink it. The second tip that I have for you today is Make sure your dog has a cool area to go to and that they are brought in every so often so as to avoid being overheated. Now, for working dogs or hunting dogs or whatever kind of dog you have, whatever your dog is doing, you may not be able to get into an indoors location. So to combat that, simply try to get them into the shade, someplace where it's a few degrees cooler. Maybe have misters for your dog so that they can, you know, have that coolness around that area. Something like that will help immensely with keeping your dog cool and having a cool area for them. So our third tip today is know the signs of dog dehydration and dog heat stroke. For heat stroke, the normal signs are panting, followed by disorientation and fast, noisy breathing. This could signal that your dog is overheating. Other possible signs include collapsing or convulsing, bright red or blue gums, vomiting and diarrhea. If you see any of these things, it may be heat stroke so get your dog someplace cool and start to get them cooled off dehydration guys the signs are a little bit different but kind of the same you're going to want to look for sunken eyes distant eyes you're also going to want to look for dry mouth uh apathy towards food or play panting and loss of skin elasticity uh, dehydration is actually really easy to test for you can simply lightly pull your dog's skin up and if it drops back into place your dog's probably not dehydrated but if it does not go back into the shape that it's supposed to be right away, chances are your dog is dehydrated. You can also check their gums, see if they go back to being pink after you touch them. If they don't, your dog may be dehydrated. So those are two easy to do ways to check to see if your dog is dehydrated. So tip number four, if you suspect that your dog is overheated or that they are dehydrated, the first thing you want to do is get them in out of the heat. Whether it be get them to your house or get them in the shady area, you want to do that ASAP, get them out of that area. Then what you're going to want to do is get them some cool water, not ice cold, just cool, and make sure that they can get some of that in them. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do, especially for heat stroke, is 
start to get them cooled down. Now, how do you do this? Well, you could put them in the bath if you want to. Not ice cold water, just cool water. Or you can take a nice cool cloth, simply drape it over them. This will help them cool down. The one key thing that you need to remember is do not go from one extreme to the other. Just because your dog is hot does not mean you want to stick them in an ice lake to cool them down. That's a no-no. You don't want to go from one extreme to the other. That's a big no-no. Cool is good. So just get lukewarm or luke. I don't know what the word would be for cool, but you want it to be cool, but not overly cold. So whatever you're doing, whether it be giving them a drink or draping uh, uh, a towel over them, make sure that it is not too cold. Now, another thing that you can do for either heat stroke or dehydration is give them some Pedialyte. Now, a lot of dogs love Pedialyte, but I would recommend obviously talking to your vet about this first. But Pedialyte can help get them the electrolytes that they need. It's kind of like Gatorade almost, in as much as when athletes use it, they can replenish those electrolytes. Pedialyte works the same way in dogs. So it basically replenishes those electrolytes, helps them get hydrated faster, and helps them get on the road to recovery. So discuss that again with your vet, but that is also another option available to you, Pedialyte. Now guys, after you've started to hydrate them or get them cooled down, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check in on them as much as possible. Now I'm not saying every five minutes, but you know, every 10, 20 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to check in on your dog and make sure they're doing okay. If you see any signs that they're not, you may wanna consider getting them to, our, to a vet. Which brings me to my fifth and final tip. In extreme cases of overheating or dehydration, get your dog to a vet ASAP. They can give them uh, an IV to help them cool down and help them get hydrated quickly so that they don't lose their life. Just like in humans, in dogs, being dehydrated or being overheated is a very serious condition. Do not mess around with it. If you do not see any improvement in your dog, you're gonna wanna get them to the vet ASAP. So guys, these have been my tips for dealing with a dog with dehydration or overheating slash heat stroke. I hope this guy's helped you. And I honestly, I hope you never have to deal with something like this because it can be very stressful. Now guys, I'm gonna go get dancer so we can finish up this video. So guys, now as with every week, it is time for our favorite section, our pup in play. We get to see Mr. Dancer have all sorts of fun. And here he is. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mobiles of Dancer Updates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those button, button, buttons. And Dancer and I will see you guys all in the next video. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.